welcome to your Go Market Update for 22nd of April 2022. Let's look at what's coming across the news today. Of course, overnight, US markets had a negative session, moved downwards, closed near the lows after the Fed Chairman Powell hinted at a 0.5% raise in interest rates in May, as opposed to the 0.25% that some of the market participants had suggested might happen. Additionally, earnings fell to excite, even though they're still beating expectations generally across the board with odd exceptions. U.S. futures are neutral today so far in Asia, and Asian markets are following that weaker U.S. lead. We've seen the ASX down about 1.5%. European markets are set to follow that U.S. lead also, and futures are suggesting a lower open. The U.S. dollar index is holding over 100, near 14 month highs, had a strong day yesterday again. Gold still trading around about 1950, where it's been stuck for a few days. Brent oil is pushing up towards, but still is below that 110 a barrel. The VIX, not surprisingly, on the back of that equity market weakness, traded upwards and has just breached the 200 EMA to the upside, but still sits below that 25 key level. Not much movement in cryptos. Bitcoin is still range bound uh, towards the middle of the range today so far. And if we look at what's coming across the wires later on, we have got some significant earnings coming out of the US with Verizon, Newmont, American Express and Schlumberg are the highlights. We've also got US retail sales data and global PMI data due out later. But really the question is, are we going to see a continued sell-off into the weekend? Let's look at a couple of charts of interest today. And we'll start in the ASX. And one stock that is holding up to only slightly to the upside, but still looks pretty good technically, is Webjet. This sector has had a good week put it on a relatively long-term chart here so you can see the key levels and you can see how it was support resistance resistance and is now back to that resistance again at 610 possible upside of around about 40 cents in the short term to test the top of this range uh, which in percentage terms is a not unreasonable 5.8 percent we'd like to see a close over the line possibly towards that 620 level before we got interested in this perhaps just to confirm buying pressure is in place on the fx front the jimmy pound kiwi looks interesting been a range over the last couple of weeks in between this 191.40 and 193.50 so a fairly wide range but you can see here we've got a potential breach to the upside in today's session if we just look at the 30 minute chart you'll see where that sits we did have a try of this during the overnight session but you can see we've got a significant move in asian trading so far from just checking on the four hour chart you can see this in a little more detail and how important this level looks in terms of a price target there's actually very little to hang our hat on technically but possibly move up in the first instance to around about this 194.40 you can see how there was some support here previously so it may end up being a resistance so that's around about a 80 pip move from where it's sitting right now so that could be one to watch over the coming hours trade safe and we'll see you again soon Bye-bye for now.